Good morning, family, friends, fanatics, nine at nine, adventure junkies. This is Tim coming to you live on Wednesday morning. It's uh, won't be broadcast till nine at nine on Friday night, so this is just a little pre pre show. Uh, Kelly's just driving around. And I thought I would film a quick 9 at 9 using what we have here in the car. Um, here's my favorite mug that Kelly tried to give away or sell. Um, I think it was actually on the auction block at one point, and well, I recovered it. Because but it's I thrifted a, it. She did thrift it, but it's a nice shape. It's a, got a holds a nice amount of coffee, and I like it. So I took it back. Um, I'm just looking at whoa. Ooh. From the car. Can't see my face. Okay, uh, nine things from the car. Let's see what else do we have here. Uh, here's an umbrella. It's a fold up umbrella. I think Kelly got them somewhere. We got it at a garage sale. Oh, at a it's garage brand sale. New. Brand new. Shout out to. Uh, she also threw one in my car, so now if you ever caught in a rainstorm and you see me driving by, just holler. I've got an umbrella in the back seat and I'll toss that out to you. It probably Thank costs. You. Ron Halverson. For the All those came from Ron Halverson. We drove to uh, Mackville, North Dakota, to yeah. and see Polo Ron. Tessa. Tessa who? Tessa, who and Lisa. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Hi, but Tessa. also, Ron Halverson has a shout out. We can do a shout out to his store in Binford. Uh -huh. Lots of vintage treasures. Binford, North Dakota, the biggest little city in North Dakota. Um, he's. Ron has a little store there full of good vintage stuff. Vintage treasures. Good vintage stuff, treasures, yeah. yep. It's full of good stuff. So we stopped. Kelly bought a few things there after our trip through Mackville. Mm -hmm. And let's see what else do we have here. Here's a here's a crock. It's a little crock, but Kelly keeps it in her car. It's quite heavy. Um, she keeps it in her car because it's full of Fargo Junk Market posters. So she's always ready to hand out a Post, Fargo junk post, market poster. Postcard. No matter, postcard, whatever, yeah. Poster, postcard, thing thing that says Fargo junk market. Um, she's always ready, whether we're in Mackville or Fargo or Binford, she can hand some out. So if you need one, give her a shout and she'll drop one by. Um, what else? Oh, here's a bag full of, oh, here's, this is interesting. A bag full of books. Uh, this hap this book happens to be about fairies. Uh, it's a hardboard book it's for probably ages two to five or something like that. It's also for junk market. Um, it's also for junk market, but there's a whole bag of them. The bingo game. A giant bag. It's for the kids. So if you're coming to Fargo Junk Market and bringing your kids, uh, they can play bingo and get a book. Twelve and under is free. 12 and under is free. Yes, so bring them with. Uh, 12 and over, not free. No, it's $5, 12 and over. Tim will take your money. I'll, I'll gladly take your money. What else do we have here? Let's see. Nope. 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 Oh, here's a good one. <laughs> here is a safety windshield hammer and seat belt cutter. Because um, someone else in the car doesn't like to drive past El Zagel because it's a little close to the river. And some days it is real close to the river. But this little hammer, you can always break your way out if well, you drive in the river. I just don't like the possibility of my car going into the water and being trapped. I have a fear of that. So yeah. that's why if, you gave me the. If you're in your car in the bottom of the river, you probably. Your automatic windows may not work. The battery may shut down. Oh, there's, she's got other tools here too, so watch out. That one's Tim got a... made Sarah and I these weapons for our car. Not weapons, they're well, ice picks. Ice picks. Too. So when you get out of your car using your hammer, you can use your ice picks. I if there's the ice, ice in the river. Was to break the window. Oh, you can use it to break your window too. Or that to was that was actually before we could afford a fancy homemade tool. <laughs> Made those. <laughs> those long ago. Those have been around for well, a very, around very, for very long, long time. time. Yeah. They've seen several cars. So, mm -hmm. um, 
interesting. But this also has a little seatbelt cutter and some different tools on Can it. Can you remember what we thrifted this week? Do I remember what we thrifted this week? Yeah, we got some uh, bowls. Some bowls? Yes. I know. We were on a trip to Duluth. And we went to Duluth, yep. yep. We saw, we went to Duluth, two harbors, Grand Marais. The uh, one that had all the stuff in the front, Tim didn't want to stop. Oh, yes, that was, where was that? That was... On the way to Grand Marais. Yeah, that was... Uh, a lot of glassware, I thought, and just a lot of stuff out which, in the rain. Which Tim thought, his comment was, that's just a lot of glassware, yeah. thinking that that would be a negative for me. <laughs> but it was not. It's a negative so, for grudgingly, me. he turned around. There was a lot of stuff there, I'll yeah. tell you that. But my favorite place that we stopped was that architectural salvage. In Two Harbors. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a nice start of the guy's torn down a lot of houses and buildings, schools, churches, and has a lot of architectural salvage, uh, a lot of doors, windows, various architectural components of a house, of a structure. How many times are you going to say Some floors, architectural salvage. Uh, we've also got a bottle of hand sanitizer. We've been in here for a couple of years. This uh, is the dumbest night at night ever. <laughs> are you sure? Wow. We've never had a dumber one? A CD. You're kind of all over the place. Billy Joel. Well, it's kind of hard in your car because you. I took out all the thrifted things. Yep. There's probably some in the way back. There probably are, but I'm not going to climb way back there. I don't want to be on the camera. Okay. Not showered today. Well, this, uh, if you haven't noticed, we're driving around North Fargo on a Wednesday morning. Last day of your vacation. It's a beautiful, bright, sunny day. We're headed home to see what's up. Um, 67, which is glorious. It is. It's perfect temperature. It's low humidity. Yada, yada, yada. By the time you see this on Friday, it'll probably be 100. What? I do. <laughs> I hope not. I don't know. But fall's coming. Weather's cooling down. Oh, there's some leaves that fell off a tree. <laughs> I, I don't know. No. This, is Ever, giving, this is giving great insight to the conversations that we have together in the car. I should, uh, what I should be doing is show you the people's reactions as we drive by because everyone's looking at me like, Tim, why is that guy filming himself? I was going to say videotaping laughing. myself, but I'm not videotaping because of, uh, I don't have a video camera that's kind of old technology this is recording digitally recording so that's about all I have within arm's reach that I can show off today uh, any closing comments from the driver no. no closing comments from the driver no. so have a good week have a good weekend good weekend good week good end of July be kind to each other yes always we'll see you next time Bye.